Hey, hello everyone and welcome to this new video review. Today we're going to be reviewing um, some of the different specs and components of this little EDC multi-tool survival kit kind of thing that I just built using the default holster that comes with the Leatherman Charge DTI. Uh, just so you know, I have been using it for around six months so far, almost every day, not all day, but almost every day. When I come home, I just take it off, and uh, it's showing some show, some signs of of being worn a, a bit worn out, but it's holding on so pretty well so far. I like about it the these elastic holsters in the sides. I like the bottom clip is holding on very well. I like the quality of the leather and the feeling of it. It feels very well and very well made. What I don't like and I, actually I really hate is these holes in the back of the of the holster that that makes it. It's supposed to allow it to be horizontal in your in your belt, but it only ends up being annoying because it makes it feel like it's going to break sooner or later. As you can see here, it's showing already some very bad signs of uh, usage. So I am I'm pretty afraid of breaking it. Not so soon because it's still uh, the, as I said the leather is very good quality, but I think I will have to soon upgrade to something else. But uh, so far it's working okay. But anyway, I, I, I hate that. I don't use it. Um, second of all, I, I live in, in Norway. So in Norway for us, it's very common to go out in the forest. There's forest everywhere. There are lots of mountains and it's common to have uh, bonfires outside. And the winter is very dark. So it, this EDC kind of thing is, is meant to cover some of those basic everyday necessities that I uh, need that I could have or also... And also maybe in case of I find myself lost in the woods and I have nothing else by this multi-tool that I carry, all, as I said, almost every day, I can rely on this and I think, and I see, and I will know that it will cover those basic needs that I will have if I get some kind of not survival situation, because of course uh, you, you always need more, mostly your skills to survive, but it will cover some of those basic needs, basic needs. So first of all, of course, you have the tool itself. Everyone knows the Leatherman Charge TTI, but I will go very fast through the specs. This re review is not about the multi tool itself, but about the kit. So, main tool, the pliers, they are not spring loaded. They have many functions there on the tip. In the inside, you have flat screwdriver. You have next to it this uh, lens, uh, lens uh, glass screwdriver that you can turn around and have like a Phillips, mini Phillips screwdriver. You have the scissors, they work okay, they do a job. Of course, they cannot compare to Victorinox scissors, but they work just fine. The can open, opener and bottle opener. And in the other in next to it, you have this uh, bit screwdriver that you can switch side and you have like a Phillips screwdriver. And of course you can use the bit that comes with the, with the multi-tool. Uh, all of them lock in place, that's very nice. In the outside, you have the main blade, fine blade, it's it's made out of S30V steel, it's, it holds the blade very well. It's very easy to, for one hand operation, only if you are right handed, if you are left handed it's very complicated, but uh, that's okay. Um, the file, diamond file in one side and the normal file in the other side in the other hand you have a serrated blade with this tiny tool that is made for skinning or if you want to cut some belt in an accident or some rope it makes it very easy for that you use less effort and of course you have the saw the wood saw in the other side so the wood saw is it's nice, it's not so big, it, compared with, uh, again, Victor, Victorinox knife, the big Victorinox, this is not as big as them, maybe one centimeter less, but it does the job, it's very aggressive, so, and you can use it also for using uh, fire rod with the back of it. So there you have the multi-tool itself, all of, all of the outside tools, they also lock into place. Using the, when it comes to the holster, of course we have the bits here that will cover most of the very basic uh, everyday needs that you might have around the house to fix different uh, 
devices or things like that that comes by default with the tool in one side here held by the elastic holster I my choice was the UltraTAC K18 mainly because it has lockout capability so you can lock, lock it and place it there so and you will not be afraid that it will uh, turn on by accident also because the the user interface is just very nice I, I love it you you press I keep pressing and you you go cycling through the most the low is very low the middle is very decent and will be enough in case you want to save battery life it will last over five hours and it's enough to walk around the forest of course not super bright but it will it will make it will save you <laughs> and the high is very high over I think it's over a hundred lumens and but it will last very short I don't remember so that's it the ultra tag k18 and the clip is it's very sturdy too so there you have it flashlight in the other side I I need to undo this knot so I can take it because this knot is keeping it secure keeping it secure okay there you go I have this uh, fire rod this is from this company called Habilis Bush, Bush Tools fire rod so what I like about this one the main uh, characteristic of it, this the main feature is that you have this watertight capsule in the top where you can st uh, store tinder I am stored I have stored just the normal cotton with the Vaseline that will last for a and it's quite big it's all this place all this space for tinder so it will last for a while and you can also buy replacement parts for the fire rod itself you see there so it's quite expensive a bit pricey but it, it's very good quality it feels very well made and you can use the back of the saw from the multi-tool to make the spark so that's very nice my I have chosen just because it fit this is a fire wax it will help in case of fire if it's very wet this one also will light even if wet and uh, will last for a long time just to help in case of fire um, in case I make I need to make a fire I'm sorry and in the last place if I find myself lost in the woods or uh, if I'm out in the mountain and I can't find the way and I need to make myself f found, <laughs> I have this super cheap uh, whistle from eBay. I think it goes around four, six, eight dollars, something like that. But uh, it does its job. I won't w blow it now because uh, I'm too close to the camera, but it, it works even with wet. It's very lightweight. And when I attach it here using this. Uh, Thing. I don't know the name in English. It stays in place. I carry it sometimes in my backpack, this kit, and it won't fall off. And it doesn't affect the overall volume of it. If I tried to carry it here for a while and it was very like, uh, it feels much more uh, bulky. So here it just keeps the flat profile of it. So there we have it. This is the very minimalistic kind of EDC survival thing that I am carrying almost every day with you. This is part of my EDC. Many of these different uh, tools, I have a main flashlight with me all the time. I have a main uh, fire source and tinder source with me. I have, I, I think I have a whistle in my keychain. I have a, a, a main blade with me. But this is uh, like an all-in-one kind of kit that you keep it in your belt. So if I don't want, if I want to just go for a walk without having carrying so many things with me, I just carry this and I know that I have my main uh, uh, needs covered by this. And if something came to happen and I find myself lost or in, in need for fire or light deep in the forest at night, I will have at least uh, 30 hours of light in the minimum and around five hours of light in the medium I have my everyday fixing needs uh, covered with the multi-tool with even if you want some attention even if your your kids are away and you want to call them they will recognize your whistle so that's that's it I, I, I of course I don't claim this one to be the very best uh, survival or EDC kit this is just what works for me 
just so you people can get some ideas about how to do how to do it, how to optimize this uh, whole set that comes by default with your tool. So that is pretty much it. I, I hope it was it's helpful for you. And uh, oh yeah, one thing I always say: why why don't I carry a, a compass with me? I I have compass almost in all my watches, so I, I have that need covered. And when it comes to paracord, I I do I make uh, paracord bracelets myself too. So I know I dare have a whistle in case, but uh, those two needs, paracord and and compass, are covered all w with me all the time. But uh, this is just help, an extra help for you, for your uh, everyday or emergency needs. So yes, uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you liked this review, any comments, any new suggestions, ideas or anything that could be helpful, just leave them in the comments and like, please forgive my English, <laughs> I'm not so good in English but I do my best. Thanks for watching.